Welcome, Valley fans, to episode 49 of Stronger Together, my series and yours with the mighty Tame Valley. As always, thanks for joining me at that thumbs up. Thank you very much. Become a patron if you're feeling extra special. That is massively appreciated. Now, like I said, we're going to be doing three episodes a season going forward now. So I have got deep into the season. I love getting deep. And i played a lot of football, Premier League football, Champions League football, FA Cup football and Carabao Cup football. I'm going to have a cheeky double live con today. Hopefully I can squeeze it all in to 20 minutes and hopefully you're going to enjoy it. I've got loads to share with you. Has it been good? Has it been bad? Let's find out. Well, let's start with the bad and that is the Carabao Cup. Straight out of this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just one of them um, shitty games that went to extra time and then we collapsed and have you seen who scored for them? Good old Abreu, um, yeah, ex-player of ours. It is what it is though, again, and you know, I'd like to win things like this. I'd like to win as much as possible. I don't ever go out there to lose, but I am B-team in the Cups this year. So we can just focus on going back to back in the league, hopefully. And it's all about that Champions League. We need to improve in Europe. Before we check out our European adventure, let's check in on the FA Cup and it was the second round against Ilkston. Uh, as you can see, I'm B-teaming it, giving guys a game that need a game. Next up, it was on to the third round where we faced Tranmere, beating them 2-1. We then beat the mighty Newcastle away 3-1. Great game and a lot of these guys are doing well in the Cups and yeah, I mean, the Carabao Cup was a bit disappointing but the FA Cups Going to plan so far, they're doing me proud. And what made me very proud was this, the next round where we battered Blackburn 4-0 with Greeno, the Blackburn fanny net. No conspiracy theory this year. Uh, Murphy had a great game, a lot of great performances, and we're still in the cup. Although in the sixth round, we face the old enemy, Manchester City. Boo. Who would have maybe at the end a bit of a slide? I mean, where did they finish last year? Fifth, and they're currently fifth in the Premier League. <laughs> Over to the Champions League and it is Group D and of course we topped it. I said I fully expected us to top it. I didn't think we'd maybe get 100%. Six wins out of six, but we did. We've qualified with Valencia. They're all our results. And I think you knew about um, a couple of them, didn't you? 6-0 battering a Wolfsburg, a 2-1 against Valencia. Battered Marseille in both games. Uh, and the Wolfsburg, a return leg at their place. Um, it was a bit tougher. Valencia game was close as well, but we've got character, we've got spirit um, and fully focused. I am fully focused on this Champions League and I'm going to be hopefully for the next couple of seasons. So we are in the first round knockout and of course we're going to be playing this team, the mighty Real Madrid, the kings of Europe in a double live comp today. So I'm pretty excited for this. I'm really excited, especially because I tried to sign one of their centre-halves. I don't know what you think of him, but this is the lad I wanted. Um, this is the lad... They accepted a bid for. This is the lad that I went to the contract talks with and I messed that up by clicking too fast. Um, and then they offered him a new deal. So it never went through. I, I just liked him. I thought he was one of the best players I could potentially get. He's 25, so maybe he could improve a little bit. Um, he was elite and he does well for Real Madrid. So yeah, this is the guy I missed out on. I never got to share that with you last time. Now I just want to show you the finances because we did have quite a bit of money at the start of the season. We had 100 million. It was now, it's now February, nearly March. Um, but we are losing money because we are now, we've got an elite squad, great players in every position, lots of new contracts, lots and lots of big wages now. And we aren't, we're not Manchester United, we're not Manchester City, we're not Chelsea, we haven't got all these, this money, really. So, you know, it's that it, we're at that point now where we're going to be losing money throughout the year. So we need to stay successful to get the bigger prize money to cover the losses, hopefully. Um, but I've still got a great young team here. A team that can go on and win and win and win, I reckon, over the next couple of years without too many changes. I mean, there's going to be a couple of changes, like Greeno obviously wants to leave at the end of the season. You know, I've got a good backup room keeper. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I might have to go back to really searching for some little gems um, on a free. I found a couple. Signing a 22-year-old centre-half on a free, uh, Uruguayan from Barcelona, who is a powerful centre-back. Um, I brought him in mainly. We'll see... Can he be better than what I've got? If not, I can sell him on, can't I? So over to the Premier League, and we are top of the league by a good few points. Only lost that one game against Leeds that you saw in the last episode. John 6, 119. We are an, an absolute force, really. Um, Mose is up there. Larson's been on the average rating charts and the assist charts, but he's dipped recently. Um, but he's still a fantastic player. But 
I mean, the season's going great. We're looking on course to go back to back and that's fantastic. Keep dominating in England. It'll be a great thing for the club, growing the club, growing our reputation. But it is about Europe. But I was fully focused on both the Premier League and Europe. One thing I do love though, look at Bristol City. Where the hell have Bristol City come from? So I've highlighted the live come from the last game and then there are all the results I've played in the league since. And as you can see, we're, we are undefeated with some fantastic results. Uh, the game straight after, it was a great game. Close game away at Chelsea, but fantastic points. Um, let's pick out some good ones. Oh, there's one. 4-2 against Man City. Away at the empty had. Zhao with a freaking doubler. Webster with two. Brilliant game. Uh, we drew with Arsenal. Uh, but some good good results uh, beating Leeds so getting revenge for early in the season and the last game I just played we battered Palace 4-1 we are looking strong we are uh, the running's not too bad you got United I mean Chelsea some big games Liverpool but they're not the old Liverpool uh, City last game of the season but it would be quite nice wouldn't it to wrap this league up early Hopefully stay in the Champions League, be able to rest players. And I think I might do that. I've got a bit of a cushion here. I think I've been going full force in both. I am thinking certain games, gambling a bit more in the running to the end of the season, playing a few lesser players, players who need game time um, and focusing. But today, we've got to get past Real Madrid. I've got to play Real Madrid. Then I'm going to play a couple of games off camera and then we're going to come back and play Real Madrid again. So two big games here, but we need to be showing the world we are ready to win in Europe. But before we get into the first game, let's just take a look at the squad. Arranged by average rating, tons of green, tons of great performers. Uh, a lot of my players are now wanted by teams. Uh, so Little, he's my little backup, but he's not done bad when he's played. Burnley want him. Kevin Larson, I've had bids in all through January, over 100 million from none other than Real Madrid. They can sod off. Pedro's wanted. He's wanted. He wants to leave though, because he's not playing every single game. So that might be Someone that goes, gives a chance to maybe get a good, young, exciting AMC to come in. Uh, Bayless is wanted again. No, he's not happy because he's not playing all the time. So there might be changes. I'll see how I feel. Zhao is wanted. Um, what's he asking for? I can't remember. Oh, he wants a new deal. That's it. Um, yeah, Zhao is wanted by Liverpool. Are they taking the piss? Liverpool. Is that a joke? Seriously. <laughs> Anyway, right, so appearance-wise, you can see all the guys that are playing the most. Eric Hernandez, the centre-half, obviously he's average rating ain't great, but he has been good. My keeper has been fantastic. Lion Zhao. Marcel Moores is amazing. So, you know, it's the usual, boys. Switch it back round, you see the guys who aren't playing. My third-choice keeper, little, the young kid, David. But he's had, you know, a couple of cup games. Uh, Montel's not playing... So it's tough, isn't it? You can't... That's the thing when you get to the top and you get good, great players. It's hard to keep everyone... It is hard to keep everybody happy. Greeno's managed eight games and he's playing well. Currently recovering. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. Goals-wise, let's have a look. You can see Larson, as always. Might as well just stick him up from... Uh, check the assists, just so if you're interested. Robert Colgan's done really well. Played a lot more than I thought he was going to. Cracking little finding, wasn't it? Um, so I'm, I'm happy. Some people might not be happy in the squad, but I'm happy. Let's go play Real Madrid. Welcome to Madrid, and I know it's February, but you don't expect it to be frozen. And they got under soil heating at Madrid. So they've got Haaland up top, who's like a granddad these days. Now, you might not have seen Webster and Jefferson on the squad before, because I've got them available checked. They're both injured, so Pedro's starting. Um, I've given Joe his new deal. I've offered it him anyway, so we'll see what happens. Come on, boys. Here we go. The game has kicked off. Very excited. I want to make a statement. This is still Real Madrid. Jao, great first touch. <sighs> On a ball, Pedders to take it. Obviously, he's moaning. I don't want to make too many changes. I wish some of these guys... And I can't make everyone happy, though. That's the trouble. I'm just a bit worried this year, unless we sell another player for 209 million. I'm not going to be able to go out there and replace like for like. I'm going to have to try and be maybe clever. We'll see what happens. But here's Real Madrid on the attack. Come on, boys. Come on. Don't, 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 don't. They've got a guy called Sando Jesus. Sando Jesus, what a name. So it's pre pretty crazy that pitch, isn't it? I think I've seen it. I've, I've, I've seen it like once before. Put the blue lines out and all that, it's weird, isn't it? They've got pink nets as well, though, if you've noticed. Which is quite cool. But I'm just surprised because, you know, a big club like that would have undersoil heating. The pitch should not be in this condition, frozen. But that should suit us. We're from Manchester, we're used to that. They're used to warm weather in Madrid, aren't they? Quite a lot of the time, even when it's supposed to be cold. 
but we'll see. Anyway, 15 minutes in, we've both had three shots. It's tight. 25 minutes in, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening yet, no highlights. But is that a bad thing? We're away from home. I'd like to keep a clean sheet. I'd like a nick and away goal, the usual stuff when you're in Europe. Um, but this would be a statement, innit? Knocking Madrid out this early. I mean, we are dominating in England, but that don't always translate into Europe sometimes. Whole different kettle of fish, innit, man? We'll see, but look at this for fucking boring. Boring, boring. What is going on? Oh, we have a highlight, and Real Madrid are passing out from defence and long ball in it. Jesus Christ. Right, here's Mertens, the young Belgian, getting a game today. Oh, it's been nodded on. Jao can't get anywhere near that. Is this the highlight? Is this the computer's gone? Fucking hell, nothing's happening. Let's show him something. <laughs> anyway, come on, boys. Woodsy, McCulloch, who's on a yellow card. And again, just giving the ball away. We are not playing like we normally do. Well done, Morsey. Back to McCulloch. Give it Morsey. He's better than you. Oh, that worked. Colgan. <gasps> All is forgiven, McCulloch. All is forgiven. Well done, Robert. That's why the kid's playing. We are the Valley. We are. Come on. My voice is going a bit weird now and again. I don't know if you've noticed. The intro bit I've had to do about five times because I couldn't get my words out. I don't know why. I haven't got a sore throat. It's half time here in Madrid and we are winning 1-0. The game is pretty close and also very boring, but it is what it is away from home. Can't always put on a show. It's about getting the result. Can we get the result? 45 minutes to play. Right, I've made no changes to anything. Let's just keep it as it is. Uh, Marcel Moes is a great player, but you might have noticed his natural fitness ain't great. I think I was just bedazzled by all the greens I saw when he's uh, thinking and kind of overlooked that. Um, it can be an issue at times, but he's just a very talented player. I don't think he'll have a long career, though. I don't think you'll see Marcel Moores at the top of his game when he's in his late, thir late, late 30s, even early 30s, to be fair. Oh, we've got a highlight. Is Mertens. Now, Terry wants me to bring Moores off for Andrade. I might do that. I might wait till the 70th minute mark and make a couple of changes, you know. I might just try and sit on this 1-0. I think that's probably the wisest thing to do. I don't always do the wisest thing. Is Woodsy. Come on, Woodsy. Pick the right pass out. Just get in the box. He's found Colgan. Back to Woodsy. Nice bit of football and you should have finished that. Seriously. Right, I've made three changes. Um, Andre's come on in the middle for um, Mr. Moore's. I've got Finson on the left because Larson's well out of character today. He's been on fire, decides to have a shit game, which ain't great. And I've stuck Murphy up top just to give us some fresh legs to run around at the front. But I've not changed I've not changed the mentality. We've got that away goal. I mean it's it's not it's, it's been a it's been a crap game, but let's just see what happens, eh? And here we go. Pedders finds Murphy, the kid, finishing a 10. There you go, that's his finishing of 10. Right, a minute left of injury time. We are hanging on in here, but we have been the better team stat-wise. It's been the shit game, and there we go. Full-time whistle. Of that, 1-0. We march on. So it's a good job the wife's out, and there's my voice going. Um, because I need the time, because I've now got to play Villa, West Brom, and Manchester United. I think I'm going to make myself a brew, get stuck into them games, and I'll see you for the return leg at the Evolving Mindset Arena against Real Madrid. Well, I'm back and I've played three games in the Premier League. Um, it's been fun. I've got a full house, but what kind of full house? So we started off with a win away at Villa. 3-0, two penalties from Andrade and Morsey. We then beat West Brom away. Back to the Midlands. Uh, Larson and Zhao getting us the goals. We then beat Manchester United. A lot of great positives from this game. Uh, Andre getting two more goals. Yao, Morsey. I mean, fantastic game. Would have made an amazing live comp. Apart from Larson got injured and we've got a few issues going into today's game. I've only had two days off. Uh, we had a rest day the first day and then we did a bit of defending training and rest the rest of the day. So Webster still not fit. Larson injured. Saybold not fit. Jefferson still injured. McCulloch is suspended and so is... Eric Hernandez. A quick look at the Premier League though before we get into the game because obviously I've played three and with 10 points clear at the top, we are on course here to go back to back, which is pretty special. Um, very proud of it, very, very happy, but can we do what we want to do? It's all about the Champions League now, isn't it? Welcome to the Evolving Mindset Arena and this could be a bit shaky. I've got um, a left back in defence. Made a couple of changes and everyone's 100%. Um, but it is what it is. I'm very proud of what we're doing in the Premier League. But can we do it here? They've got no Haaland. He's on the bench. Happy days. So here we go. We're kicking off and they're in a pink kit. Oh, what don't happen then? Uh, I do like a pink kit. I, I love a pink kit. Um, I'm already planning my custom series for next year. I'm excited by it. I don't know how new it's going to be. I think I've got a great idea for it. Um, I'm definitely thinking... 
black and pink home kit for it. I really, really am. But yeah, can we do all right today? I mean, it's a bit of a makey shift defense. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. You just got to, you've got to deal with it. Now, just in case you ever wonder why I don't wear green hats, I've got many, many, many ones. If you're a Jets fan, a Miami fan, uh, a Green Bay Packers fan. Oh, good save. Uh, or even an Oakland A's fan. I've got loads of them. And they're all my favourite. I look really good in green. It's because of my green screen. That's a green cup. So, yeah. That's why. Very disappointing, really. Bloody green screens. Right, here's Kogan. Come on, lads. Come on. Let's get another goal. Mosey, lovely pass. Lovely bit of football. So, yeah, Manchester United. Liverpool game got called off recently. And um, I'm a Manchester United fan. I do believe in protest. And I think we need to start upping our game. We've let them get away with stuff for too long. Every club in England's been protesting, apart from one. I think we all know who they are and why they're not protesting. Bit shameful, but uh, I don't agree with obviously breaking in and vandalising. But there's always an idiot, isn't there? Like they said on Sky Sports, there's always a village idiot. It's not Manchester United. There's thousands and thousands of people there who did it properly, and that's what I think we need to be doing um, to get the glazers out and some of these foreign American owners who think they could mess around with football and talking of the European Super League I've got a little experiment coming out soon with a bit of a different twist that I think is quite interesting I think you might enjoy so keep your eye out for that Bayless yeah I've had a shave I hate having a shave you might notice now and again I might have a baldish face um, but recently a while back I bought a beard trimmer I've been keeping it nice length and growing it keeping it a nice length I have just massively prefer facial hair I think my face looks better I even got beard oil for my beard um, but I messed it up yesterday and went right and uh, messed up my neckline, so I had to take it all off. But Robert Cogan didn't mess out, did he? I love little pickups like Cogan where you come across someone and go, What? 12 million? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, this is good, isn't it? 3 0 up, coasting. Now we are coasting. I'll bring Mosley off at half time. He won't 100% anyway. He's give, give it all in them three Premier League games. Cracking player. Special player. Zhao! <gasps> Who are you? Ooh, ah, uh, yeah. Totally it'd be different at home. I knew it. Here's Woodsy. Come on, Woodsy. Let's just do him. Let's just do him. Let's just absolutely annihilate him. The kings of Europe are getting dethroned. Here's Kamara. Oh, it's right across the box. Moors! Well, it's our time here in Bolton. Uh, hopefully, we can make the new stadium a fortress. Like this little bad boy. Uh, I will be bringing Moorsy off now. And that's all I'm going to do. So, the second half has kicked off. And, you know, we've not created loads of chances. But we've, scored, we've had five shots. Scored four. That is brilliant football. Precise football. They're not coming back into this, are they? They're not coming back into this. To get two, 300 people still watching it, an episode, I'm very happy with that. You're in my favourites. You know you are. It's Colgan. Come on. Kamara's picking this one up. Lofts it straight in. Zhao knocks it down to... Freaking Bayless. Oh, my God. It kind of makes you wish, like, the first leg you'd been battered 3-0. Because it would have made it more dramatic, wouldn't you? Down 3-0. The odds are stats against us, and we're going to annihilate them. Oh, they're back into it. And look who scored. So I've made a couple of changes. They've not come through yet. It's not one of them. I've ignored the Bayless one. They're really putting on a bit of a fight back, aren't they? So the changes have taken effect. Uh, Sable's come on at left back because Lions is on a yellow. And I've put Murphy on up top. Again, just freshen it up. What's going on there? It is and. Checking for penalty. Duh. Penalty awarded. Right, it's going to be Bayless to take it. Can he score it? Yes, he can. Well, since the goal, absolutely nothing's happened. First highlight, and here it is. Can we get another one? This is embarrassing for Madrid, isn't it? They're still packed with stars. They think they can come over to me and say, oh, we want Larson. Here's 100 million and think we're going to go, oh, yes, please. I turned it down. Larson wasn't bothered. That's a quality player. He knows where his bread is buttered. Here they come again. This is like a goal fest, isn't it? If they score here... The hell you donkey <laughs> well there you go uh <laughs> eight goals in this game seven two altogether on aggregate we put on a freaking show there ollie bayless was on fire very proud of the lads there very very proud that is a statement can we keep this going i've stuck at an automatic manchester united versus milan lovely little tie that into milan oh i'd like that man city come on juve i'd have a bit of that this is quality i love it there we go juventus 
Barcelona and the other one this is like powerhouses of European football this isn't it there we go that is the end of the episode thanks for watching hit that thumbs up I really do appreciate the support get involved in the comments um, second leg was amazing really confident about what we maybe can achieve I mean it's packed with superstar teams but I think we're up there now and you've got to beat the best to be the best and I can't wait Juventus hopefully can get through that and I'll uh, get to us in the season and we'll see what's what hopefully I can bring you something good you never know with football, you never know with football manager, but we are on course here for some major, major glory. Very excited. Hopefully you are too. Hopefully you're happy. Hopefully you're safe. You're safe. Uh, and as always, I appreciate you. You're an absolute beautiful legend. You're so gorgeous. See you next time.